life happens hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are k -trip, thank you so much for all your supporting me and helping me reach 22,000 subscribers i can't thank you enough and if you are not and you want to be part of the ktm family please just subscribe down below <clears throat> these are red buttons scroll up and subscribe and be part of the awesome family on youtube so guys i'm still at the farm obviously i asked you guys to <clears throat> I did that in my community youtube community post i still uh to ask me questions because i'm gonna be doing uh the basic get to know me tag i did a few ways ago and uh, yeah you asked me a lot of questions and i thought maybe i should just do a different get to know me tag like questions uh because i've already done the get to know me tag it's already posted you can click and i can here you can see that to get to know me more but this is basically your questions my ktm questions that you wanted to know about me and i just decided to do another video for you guys because you know i love you so 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 much and i want you to know me like really really personal so i'm gonna answer all those questions i have them here i screenshotted them because we are lazy nowadays so yeah so follow me also on instagram because also as because i realized that people who follow me on instagram necessarily don't follow me on youtube and those so people follow me on youtube they maybe don't have an instagram account or they don't follow me on instagram so basically always update you on my community post and also on instagram so follow me on instagram at kemtobea all my social media twitter tiktok facebook um kepto bear simply like the username oh it's gonna pop up here let me answer the juicy ones first uh-huh from my favorite k tribe bless insist insistive if you want to be part if you want to be my favorite k tribe always comment on my videos be the first one to comment uh share my videos support me by liking like always be there for the first time i post I always post at exactly 7 p.m east african time okay so always be the first one to to comment so so like for a one video it depends if it's a sit down video like this it only takes me 30 minutes to edit because there's no like changing scenes or what what i just cut and put my like b-rolls and stuff like that so it take me 30 minutes if it's a vlog vlog like a compiled vlog of different locations nee, 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 nee. what 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 it takes me like a good amount of four hours to edit that video yeah so i think are you number two and then she comment are you planning to stay in the village stroke country so the thing is um i'm gonna answer that um the village country so i consider like this village where i am right now like uh i consider it my my home it will always always and forever be my home where my mother is that's my home I may live in nairobi i may live in europe i may live in america i may live uh, in nairobi but i'll always consider like my home here because this is my ancestral home so am i planning to stay like completely completely stay you know guys like um, what covid has really taught me like also comment down what covid this pandemic has really taught you down below covid has really taught me like you can plan as much you want to plan but life happens so, um saying that to say this with this pandemic i thought it's really more financially reasonable to stay here my plan right now like i i can say i'm gonna be staying here the next three months up to december because with this pandemic it really affected so many things so it makes it logical even like fresh air to stay here where my mother is it makes it more it makes more sense staying here so i don't know how to answer that but what i'm gonna answer is i'm staying here for the next three months 
uh, if something comes, uh, if a job opportunity or business or working with a brand and it requires me to go to Nairobi or Mombasa, I will go, but I'll always like I'll come back here for the next like three months. That's how I've outlined, outlined that. So if if something comes in Nairobi, if I have to travel somewhere, I'll go, but I'll always come back like here. Uh, number three, she she asked, what are the challenges in your life? Oh my God. This is, um, this is so hard to answer because another thing, I, I'm a really positive person. I'm always like happy, happy, happy go-getter. So like, of course I have challenges. I have a lot of challenges. But it's so hard, like, uh, for me, like, for my personality trait to hear out my my negative sides, like, the challenges, the struggles that I'm going through on a YouTube video. Not even a YouTube video, even, like, my friend, like, I was always mysterious. Like, I'm this kind of a girl that I look mysterious, but I'm really not. It's because, like, I, ch I choose, like... Just to share the positive things but i realized that i have a responsibility also to share the other not so good or not so fine parts of my life with you because you are you're my family like you're not even my friends my friends are like <laughs> down there but you are my family like after my family k tribe is my family like i i, I think of you k tribe as like the fam my nuclear family like the family that i've born <laughs> i don't know if that's yeah yes i have so many challenges but i feel like my challenges are caused by me not being financially stable if i was financially stable i'll solve all my challenges so basically um all am i saying is that my challenges are caused by me not having money like number one i i crave for a freedom of living alone like to have my own home like yes i know youtube is gonna buy me my first house but like right now like thinking about like right now and a year from now you never know like any miracle can happen even this video can go viral get me like 17 million views the power of manifesting and by that i'll buy my my first apartment can you imagine like oh, can you imagine me taking you to my first apartment so that's my my struggle i feel like because i'm not financially dependable on myself that makes people like take advantage of me that that thing like my family and stuff like that because um, I love my mom so much like my mom is my rock my star I even came here home just to tell her an idea because if you didn't know like my sister my elder sister she died she was killed in the house she was murdered in the house and she was living alone she just like she was like at the age to move out so when she moved out she didn't even like spend i believe yeah she didn't even spend in a home like one full year then she got murdered so i think that uh, feeling it um, made my mom fear for us to live separately but uh, so i had to come because you guys have seen like moving blocks moving blocks me finding for apartments uh, for now like for now with my YouTube money with what I'm earning I can afford to live alone on a studio a studio slash bed sitter you call it bed sitter here in Kenya so I'm looking for apartments in Nairobi and Mombasa I was looking for that before this pandemic hit has so yeah it hit us and it hit also our revenue but we move okay so i came here just to make her comfortable and to see where her headspace is at and she's okay with me uh moving out but she wants me not to bring any man in the house because i don't know like like i don't know if i'm rambling but i guess that that's one of my challenges right now that's the biggest challenge of my life right now 
like getting my own space i want my own space for creativity not me bothering anyone when i want to create a video because many of my sisters i live with my sisters and some of my sisters are always around because we live around each other so we are always in the house some don't many of them don't want to appear in my videos for their own like understandably reasons because yeah not anyone i want to be public like mama solan she doesn't like appearing in videos because she like she wants to be perfect like she's that girl like she wants to be perfect like makeup perfect hair perfect before appearing on on the camera and even after you video her she has to review the video and you don't know how many videos she's told me to delete because she was not comfortable being online and i understand that very very much i love her so so much like mama solange and solange i love them so much they've been part of my youtube journey for a very long time they've they've supported me like so much so yeah if everything goes back to more normal like i know more opportunities are in nairobi like working with brands and all those things i uh, will do that so another challenge is um what uh my long um dating <laughs> yes i have that question a lot stick around i'm gonna answer that question also yeah dating is um i don't know why i always find myself dating long distance so that's um i don't want to talk that oh it's gonna be i'm gonna answer that so another one asked me I'm a, a more TV said I'm a small uh, I thought I was the the tag was about get to know me not this one but I'll answer briefly uh, anything in life when you take up anything in life there are cons and there are pros so it is you to determine if you're passionate about something I will say like when you're starting out on YouTube just be patient and just create content because you love it because if you hate wait for the money 10 to 10 percent chances is that you're gonna get disappointed flavia malka malkia uh yes i'm dating i'm dating <laughs> yes um um uh, what phone but i don't know i don't want to hear that part of it <laughs> What phone or camera did you start vlogging with? So I started with a Microsoft Lumia. I started with that phone. I bought it with my first salary, my first saving. Like I got fired. <laughs> I got fired at the casino. And I just went and bought that phone. I didn't care. And I vlog. Like if you see my first videos. Oh my God. If you see my first videos, guys, we've come a long way. So... Then the, uh, after that, I upgraded oh, to this phone that I sometimes vlog with. But what I'm using now, and then I bought a Canon EOS 700D. But if you're a vlog, if you're a vlogger, that camera is heavy, so I suggest you buy the Canon EOS uh, M50, the one I'm using, or you can buy the mirrorless Canon G7X Mark II. The Mark III is really difficult to focus, so buy Mark II. That will be good to go. So Paris asked, "Hey, Kemuto, my channel was uh, quick. It like I, I wasn't like the thing is when I started YouTube, I wasn't focused on monetization or all those things. So I really can't tell like right away. I can say right, just right away it got monetized." yeah so i was lucky all my videos when i published them they were already like monetized uh, another thing is do you do you have specific nini i don't understand that but if you mean like losing my weight i focus more on exercising even if i can't exercise with a trainer i walk i walk and i'm currently like really watching what i'm eating i cut out sugar uh I cut out milk but not completely uh, like I've started drinking milk here because it's more organic but I uh, did as well guys I hate waking up in the morning that I hate it I hate it to my like I hate it. I feel like um, 
I'm a slave when I wake up in the morning. But if I have like a task to do that requires me to wake up in the morning, I just gather myself and just do it. Like life, like living just motivates me. Your girl Joan said, I'm a Thai song. Oh, Chemita is a new K tribe. And I always see your comment. Thank you so much. You're such a vibe. So, my zodiac sign is I used for a long time, I used to think I'm a Gemini because um, my birth date, birth, birth date is really weird. It's, it's 21, it's 21st June. So, sometimes, uh, sometimes in a year, I'm a Gemini, sometimes I'm a Cancer. But now I believe I'm a cancer. Since like three years ago, I've always been like in the cancer side. Girl, are you always happy? <laughs> you know, like um, the person who like even like something annoys me. Like I don't know, I just smile. Like it's annoying. Also, I find it annoying also on myself because I'm like. People are not. People are never gonna get take me serious because I'm always smiling. Even when someone tell me something smack i'm smiling that things annoy me so kyoka kunji asked me anybody in security's hand and how do you deal with them i hate my i brought this out to myself i hate my stomach this is my body insecurity but it's going i'm working on towards it and also my forehead that I make hair cells that hide my f big five heads. How do I deal with it? I always try, like right now, it's so hot, but I'm wearing this jacket just to make my stomach slimmer. So, Angie Joroge asked, what pushed you to start vlogging? So, um, <clears throat> I was always watching a lot. I'm sorry, someone is... um digging so i was always watching okay maybe i can so, so i've always like watched like youtubers always, always on youtube and the way i found youtube is i was looking that at that time i was dating my my ex-boyfriend was coming to town so he asked me to look for a, like he didn't want hotels he wanted like a part furnished apartments so I was searching online and then I came along a video so I clicked it and it took me to YouTube uh, yeah so it was an Airbnb so after that I started watching like I was transitioning to natural hair so I was watching natural videos I was watching Jenny Jenkins Patricia Bright and who else April, April Athena April and Justin Nikki Nikki and Jamie now it's Nikki, simply Nikki. So I was watching them. So my sister told me like, you're always watching you to my sister Amy. So I have like eight sisters. So I'm going to be naming their name so that you can know my, like I'll be saying sister Amy, sister Judy, sister who. Yeah. So my sister Amy told me like, uh, you're always watching YouTube. Why don't you start like a channel also? So I was like, what will I do if I start a channel? Because I don't think I'm really good at hair because I used to do videos of hair, but they didn't do well because I hate doing my own hair. I, I can make my own hair, but I hate it. I also braid, but I hate it. So I hate it. So she told me like start. So I I then something happened in my work, they were cutting people off and I was one of them to get fired. So I was like, hmm, let me do like this YouTube video and then I did Nairobi Diaries review and then I got like mileage from doing Nairobi Diaries reviews and I guess I've answered that. And then okay and then I I got bored with doing Nairobi Diaries review. So I started doing like, I started vlogging the SDR, like I, I love traveling. So whenever I travel, I show my travels. And with that, people started commenting. I used to follow like the comment section. If someone requested something, I do that video. And that's how it turned out into me being a full-time YouTuber. Yeah, and the unemployment rate in Kenya. So I decided, hmm, let me start YouTube. 
what gives you courage to be always on the camera like i love meeting you guys and i love seeing your comments so like and then when i get a new idea or if i experience something new that makes me feel like to show it on camera any traveling challenges you faced yes yes the recent one is when i was in arusha no tanzania because Zanzibar, yeah, in Tanzania because we went to Arusha and then Zanzibar and the oh no, we went first to Zanzibar, Arusha and Dar es Salaam. So I faced this. It was that time. It was like 2019 August around this time. Yeah, around this time. Yeah. So we were like they had changed. I went with money because I normally don't walk with a card with a atm card stupid me but that's gonna change uh yeah i have a bank but i don't deposit my money there i just take it out from my son union but from now on I'm, I'm i'm changing so i was working with my money like the money i'm gonna be spending there in kenya shilling so i thought i'll just go to a forex and exchange it so i had the old money you know the kenya changed the the old currency to the new currency I don't know i don't understand so they had a difficult time like they I, all the forex in tanzania they were uh, they were not changing money the the old money at all so i had to depend on judy judy heinz to like for food for whatever and yeah it was really awkward it was so bad i hated that so yeah exchanging money it made you feel awkward that's the only challenge i've faced uh cookie also asked uh best country you have visited so far i'll say zanzibar oh, okay i'll say tanzania and specifically zanzibar and also love russia how do you regret till today how do i regret till today um not moving out earlier uh, Mama Dara has high high opinion on body shamers. I have no opinion at all. Like you're not even on my mind at all. Because like if you take your time to comment something negative, you're a loser. Simple. Worst food. Uh or my na. Uh that's like sardine in English. So that's all the YouTube community posts. So I'm gonna answer the other ones are from where? From my Insta stories. What's your worst encounter with someone on the comment section? How did you handle handle it? So my worst encounter on the comment section is when uh, the trolls or the haters come from come for for my my subscribers i hate it like if you're attacking anyone please just attack me don't attack someone who comment down below just attack me and how do i handle, handle it normally i don't respond to trolls but when you come after my k type i must come after my babies like my k type are my babies if you come after my babies i'm on to you like i psychoanalyze you when are we meeting the man behind your beautiful smile? <laughs> you guys, you guys. I know if I show my boyfriend here or anyone that I'm dating, <laughs> oh, oh, you guys are gonna be like, I'll, I'll, I'll go viral. But is it worth the views? My happiness? other views because i've seen relationship go through a lot when they post their relationship online and i'm the person who like i i i'm i'm trying to be manifesting enough but i be, like when i put something like something that is gonna happen on online or i tell anyone that is not involved on that thing that's go good is gonna happen i feel like it's gonna jinx it but i'm i'm, I'm becoming more of a positive person so <sighs> When my man, I'm gonna when they allow it, I'm gonna show my bare half, and I'm gonna get a million views. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be buy, buy a house. We're gonna be traveling together. So, yeah. What's your? Are you dating? Yeah. When are we meeting the man behind? Okay. And another one is, uh, how old are you? 
Uh huh. Uh huh. So I think that. Oh uh, yeah. Will you ever go back to nine to five job or YouTube is your main job now, girl? If a job wants to hire me and um, the the if a job wants to hire me and the pay is higher than what I earn on YouTube, girl, I'm taking it. YouTube, I believe I can I can do like several jobs. I can never say no to a bigger positive opportunity. That's not me. So yeah. How many scaros one just said how many kids do you want to have? I just want to have one kid. And if I'm rich enough, I'm just gonna hire a surrogate to carry that baby because I hate pain. I hate pain. I have the worst cramps and people my sisters who've given birth they told me the labor pains are three times worse than my cramps. So yeah, and if I have to carry the baby, I'm I'm getting a, an epidural. Yes. So one for me one. But if my partner wants more, we can always communicate and come to a to a half half agreement. How many siblings do you have, Carol? I have um nine siblings, but one passed away. How old are you? Uh huh. I think that's all the questions. Oh, this is there's more question. Oh my god, this video is gonna be so long. I'm sorry, guys, but I need you to know me so much. Do you cope? Do you cope in the country farm life? Yes, I cope. Okay, the first day I'm not gonna lie. The first day it's hard. Not like, like for example, taking the shower when it's time to take the shower or going to the toilet. But uh. There's pros and cons, so I, I wanna fix that by the way. I wanna earn more money if and fix that. I want to like build a nice like shower, like put the how do you call that tank? Yeah, the tank and then you can do like the shower. So yeah, so I'm coping but I'm really like more of a city girl because if we don't like I was raised like everywhere, like 50, for 50, 14 years of my life, I was raised in Nairobi, born and raised in Nairobi. I was born in Nairobi Hospital, <laughs> Nairobi Hospital. And then I moved to, um, when my parents retired, they retired and came to the countryside. I came with them and then I was in boarding school my high school for four years I was in the countryside then another three I was three years I was in studying now college in Mombasa and then I came back to Nairobi then I'm here so with all that experiences I think I'm a, I love like my dream is to like a beach more of a beach and more of a island girl Will you have a meet and greet one day? I would really like to meet you. Yes, of course. I want to have a real uh, meet and greet that will benefit my K tribe also. Like maybe like enjoy a coffee or a, like I wish like if a brand sponsor me like CJ's please sponsor a girl and then maybe host like 10 of you or 20 of you like just a small group of uh, my subscribers so that I can get to have that one-on-one -on -one feeling so yeah if yeah <laughs> I would want that I've met most of my K-Tribe and yeah most of like I've met not most but people who've been watching me for a long time I've met them in person whenever they are in the country they we meet up and also meet you guys on the streets and you're always like so funny like you're like came to you're not vlogging like and when some so when i want to vlog some are so shy they don't want to appear in the video so if you ever meet me and you're comfortable appearing in the video please always always request okay so i won't take it like i will be so happy to vlog with you I am going to have you move permanently to kiss I think I've answered on the beginning of this video about it. Also, I love your content and I'm a caterer forever. Thank you so much. You're my baby. <laughs> I, another one, McKenna asked me, how old are you? A lady never tells her age. And if she does, most probably she's lying. When are you coming back to Nairobi? 
uh, whenever a business op open a opportunity takes me there. Are you dating? Yeah. So that's all the questions. If you have any other questions, comment down below. Watch my ever first get to know me pop up here. Thank you so much. I feel like I want to drink something. So watch more of my farm life here. Subscribe here. I love you so much and I can't wait to hit 50,000 subscribers. Uh, we are in the journey to hit 100,000 subscribers. So you know what K-Tribe Please share this video to your friend, to everyone, and until next time, peace.